Okay, so let's make a deterministic finite automaton for this language, which is the set of all binary strings where W does not contain 110 as a substring. So as an example, if we have 01, that does not have 110 as a substring because it has shorter length than the thing it's supposed to contain, so it clearly doesn't. If we have 0111, then that does not have 110 anywhere as a substring, and so therefore should be accepted by a DFA for this language. But if we have 0110, then it has 110 as a substring, and so therefore should not be accepted. So how are we going to make a DFA for this? It seems like does not contain means that there are so many different combinations. It turns out that it's really easy because we're dealing with deterministic finite automata. What we do is notice the fact that if we remove the word not here, it turns out to be a lot easier. And why is that easier? Because we just look for, have we read 110? And then just immediately accept right there once we've read the rest of the string. We don't go to anywhere else. We got this pesky not in here. Well, this is where closure under complement comes to save us. All that we do is just take the DFA without the not and then switch final and non-final states and then we're done. So let's focus on the language where we have strings that contain 110 and then just flip final and non-final to make things much easier. So how are we going to approach this? Let's add transitions to get the strings that are in the language and then worry about the ones that are not in the language later. So to get this, let's just focus on getting exactly 110, that string alone. So we need to have a start state and read 110. And so therefore we go to a final state. Well, if we read anything after this, then it's still gonna have 110 as a substring. It's not gonna change anything. And so therefore we need to have a zero one self loop at the end. If we read a zero at the beginning, that doesn't help us get 110, and so therefore we're not gonna progress along the chain here. If we read a zero here, that destroyed the work that we've just done reading the one in the supposed 110 substring. And so therefore we need to come back because it just destroyed all the work we did. If we read a one here, then that means that we have read one, one, and then now another one, so it kind of destroyed some of the work we did, not a lot though. And so the last two things that we have read are one and one. And so therefore we should be right here because that corresponds to, we've just read the one one of the one one oh substring. And so therefore this state needs to self loop on one. And so this is a DFA for all the strings that do contain one one oh as a substring. Now we want the ones that are not all that we do is just flip which states are final. So this one was final, I'm gonna make it non-final. This one was not, and so therefore I'm gonna make it final. This one was not, make it final. This one was not, make it final. And just as a sanity check, if we read 110, that is not accepted. If we do 0110, that is not accepted. Any string of length two or less is accepted because we couldn't read three transitions to get over to here. And so therefore, this is a DFA for all the strings that do not contain 110 as a substring.